Welcome to Mac One Design video channel. One of the uh, most frequently asked questions is uh, how do we select uh, capacitors and uh, particularly how do we select a few number of capacitors to achieve a good filtering effect? Well, uh, the rule is always uh, you check the data sheet and you make sure that the uh, lowest impedance of the selected capacitor should uh, be sitting your sitting in the frequency range you really want to have the biggest effect. So often that means uh, you will need to uh, select more than one capacitor for filtering. In this case, we can see that four or five capacitor. Uh, this is their impedance against frequency curve. And if I select these five capacitors, then I should be able to cover a wide frequency range um, for filtering. So in this video, we're going to demonstrate how we're going to uh, measure and uh, test the uh, uh, capacitor array or capacitor bank performance. So this is getting more exciting because we we just did in the previous video we just did uh, uh, impedance um, measurement of one capacitor. Now we're adding a few more capacitor to form. Uh, what we call capacitor array or capacitor bank. So in this case, we put in uh, uh, 1210 size uh, 22 microfarads, and then the next size is 4.7 microfarad 1206, then 1 microfarad, and the last one I believe is a 150 nanofarad capacitor. So now we're gonna put this um, back to the spectrum analyzer and get the game plot. So same setup. Now inside the IF housing unit, we have four um, different size and value uh, ceramic capacitors as a capacitor bank. Now, if we turn the uh, tracking generator on, which I already did, um, turn it on, and yeah, we can see one, two, three, four, four resonant frequency points, which is uh, plotted quite nicely. Now we're gonna capture this result, and then we're gonna have a uh, again comparison with the simulation result. Okay, so these are the four ceramic capacitors we chose for this test. As you can see, they cover the frequency range from one megahertz up to twenty of twenty or thirty megahertz. So the reason we picked up different values, as you can see here, is that I want to achieve a very low impedance uh, path uh, from the frequency range I just mentioned across all this uh, frequency range. So again, in simulation model, we have uh, four capacitor uh, modules um, put in. And uh, first, let's do a quick scan. Yeah. So this is the impedance against frequency simulation result. Um, again, very similar to the data sheet provided. So we got a good confidence level of the uh, model we 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 built for these uh, four pars uh, for these four capacitors. Now the next is of course we try to again run it uh, in this model. So in this model we put or copy and paste the four capacitors and then run again uh, in this model. So this model is uh, to simulate what we just did <clears throat> using the spectrum analyzer. So if we run it, then this is the uh, game plot we, we we got as a result of this. And uh, let's compare it with the, uh, the measurement. So on the right hand side, as we just explained, we capture the uh, measurement result. And we can see one, two, three, four, four resonant points, and they are in the frequency range of one meg, two meg, five, and um, thirteen. Let's say, and here we have one one meg, two point seven meg, uh, six megahertz, and then uh, fifteen uh, megahertz. Um, we got a slight difference in terms of a resonant frequency compared to what we measured. But the overall uh, shape and form, it, I would say, is almost the same as this one. If if I, uh, yeah, uh, let's try this. To to yeah. So if you compare this result and this result, uh, they are very close. So 
we again we got good confidence that if we use these four capacitors then we should see a big reduction in the noise frequency uh, range between 500 kilohertz to 20 megahertz